Hi everybody, John here with Cruiser Customizing. Today we're going to take a look at the Karaoke Excursion luggage available now at cruisercustomizing.com. The new Excursion luggage from Karaoke is way more advanced than all the soft-sided luggage that came before it. We'll go over some of the features that's found throughout the entire line if you want to see a detailed breakdown on each one of the bags individually so you know what the compartments look like, you can check out those videos on our YouTube channel as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the line as an overview. To begin with, instead of having soft pliable panels with plastic that backs them up that tend to fall in on itself over time, these new excursion bags have a thermo molded panel of foam that's underneath the exterior. The exterior on all the bags is gonna be a Max Tura fabric. That's a highly abrasion resistant, heavy denier count fabric. So it's gonna be UV and water resistant. Plus it's gonna have an extremely high abrasion resistance. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other stuff you're gonna find on these. To begin with, all of the zippers are heavy duty, extremely high quality waterproof zippers. Behind there, on the ex exterior, on most of the bags, you're going to find electronic storage, which is nice. This one's got the cell phone and iPad holder there in the back. Plus, you're going to have all kinds of zippered mesh compartments all over these. A lot of times when you're out on your bike, you're going to have small items that you want to carry with you. So, they put pockets absolutely everywhere in easy to reach places. Those thermal molded panels I was telling you about, if you look on the front of this one, you can actually see that there's some contour to that. That's actually a two-fold deal there. It adds a little bit of style to these, plus it also makes the lid here that flips up a bit more rigid. Anytime you have those beveled edges there, it's going to give a little bit more strength to that lid as it opens up. On the inside of this one, you can see more mesh zippered pockets. Like I said, they're absolutely all over the place. And this one, it's got pockets on the sides. So if you want to store any little goodies, you're not going to have any problem with that whatsoever. Each one of the bags is going to come with another bag on the inside. This bag is going to be filled up with enough straps to keep this thing attached to an airplane while it's flying through the air. They have straps in every length for just about every application. So if you want to make sure this thing is secure, you're not going to have any problem with that whatsoever. Also, for the exterior, you're going to get a rain cover. That's going to cover the entire exterior portion of the bag once it's filled up. So you have a 100% waterproof seal whenever, the wa whenever it starts to rain while you're out riding around. On this particular bag, we've got a couple of those thermo molded storage panels here on the side. A couple of the bags will have that as well. Um, we also have some Reflectolite material. You want to make sure you're visible while you're out riding around at night. So what they've done is put that Reflectolite here on the logo on the side and then also a couple panels on the back. That's going to make sure if a car's headlights pass you over during the night, you are going to light up like a Christmas tree. As far as securing these things to the bike, You've got all the straps that it's going to come with, but you need an anchor point for those on the bag. So what they've done is they've attached D-rings all around the outside of this thing. That's going to let you hook those straps on and make sure this is secure to the bike. Those, all of these D-rings, they actually are secured to the bag with a rivet and double stitching. So you don't have to worry about them pulling loose over time. It's a very, very, very secure anchor point and the D-rings themselves are a little bit different than we've seen in the past. A lot of times you'll have a metal D-ring that will hook onto there. Well, if that D-ring starts moving around, that metal might scratch the paint on the bike if it comes in contact with a painted or chrome surface. So what Karyakin did was actually take any of the exposed portion of that D-ring and they've coated it in plastic. And to make sure the D-ring has the strength that it needs, while it's securing the bike or securing the bag to the bike, there's actually a welded ring on the inside. It's not just bent over and touching itself like a lot of the cheaper bags are. This one is a full circle that's been welded so it's gonna be extremely secure and it's gonna protect your paint if it comes in contact with it. 
So that's going to be our top down look on the Karyakin excursion luggage. If you have any questions on the line as a whole, please let us know in the comment section below. As always, there's a link down in the corner so you can subscribe so you're not going to miss out on any of our upcoming videos. If you want to see all the Karyakin luggage and pick out the one that's going to be right for you, there's an info tab right up in the corner. If you click on it, it'll take you to a page with all these bags. Click on the one you want, get it ordered up, and we'll ship it out to you. Thanks for watching today. Till next time, my name's John. Please ride safe.